Hello, YouTube family, and welcome to another practice with myself, Kat Methan. Now, if you are new here, you've never practiced with me before, then welcome to my page. Hopefully you subscribe and you do lots more practices with me. For those of you that don't know, I have an online yoga and meditation membership called The Soul Sanctuary. So if you love this practice, then I recommend signing up to our seven day free trial where you have access to like 500 videos and you can see if you like it, you can stay as a member, you can just do that seven day free trial and leave. But I really recommend just giving it a go. Now today's practice is all about soothing the nervous system. So when we feel a little bit nervous, we feel a little bit anxious, a little bit restless, this is going to be the practice that you're gonna to wanna to come back to time and time again. So make sure you've got it liked and saved and that then you know that it's there as a little tool to help you in those moments when you need it. We're gonna get started, sat down, just in a cross leg position today. If you wanna grab yourself a block to sit up on, then that's really nice. It just gives you a little bit more space in the pelvic area to grow tall through the spine. Okay, and we're gonna take the palms facing down onto the knees or just down onto the thighs. Close down your eyes and roll the shoulders back. Feel those shoulder blades literally travel down the spine as the chest lifts. The ribs don't flare. The ribs stay nice and elongated, the whole body reaching up to the sky and just settling into your breath. Now our breath is a very, very good guide, a very good teacher to help us understand how we're feeling. So sometimes if we're short of breath, if we find the breath pacing a little bit, we know that that could be because we are in that nervous energy. Maybe you feel the breath getting caught up in the shoulders, in the chest, rather than being deep down into the belly again a really good sign and a, just a moment of awareness for how you're feeling. And not being in a place of judgment on yourself here, knowing that every single emotion, every single feeling that we have is just a welcome part of our experience of life. But that reminder that we do have the power to choose, to change, and to a point to control how we feel how we react, how we act, and how we give. So just feeling into the breath. And these palms facing down, this gesture of looking inwards, taking these moments to really connect to you. And one of the most powerful ways to really be able to release nervous and anxious energy is this understanding of being grounded into the acceptance of whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And that again, we have the choice to enjoy the moment, to be present in the moment, whatever it needs to be. We get to make that choice, nobody else. So today, I invite you to choose to be calm and accepting of whatever it is that you're going through. Can you even just say to yourself, I accept. And accept it with love and compassion. Maybe there's a little resistance towards the acceptance. That's okay, that's completely normal. How do those words feel in your body? I accept. I surrender to a calmer sense of me, to a more peaceful version of my soul. And that's the person that I am going to be dropping into over these next few minutes here. We're gonna take some blowing exhales, but we're gonna take a little bit of a hand movement as we do this. So as we inhale, you can flutter open your eyes to take your gaze to me. As we inhale, we're gonna be taking the palms facing upwards, draw the energy all the way up, inhale. As you exhale, you'll interlace the hands at the top, blow the exhale, push the energy down. 
So we are literally releasing that energy. So we're gonna go a few rounds like that. Inhales and exhales around about the count of four and five. It doesn't matter if you lose timing with me, just stay with your own rhythm, okay? So we inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Now inhale, open the chest and the arms, cactus. And then exhale, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, open the chest again, cactus the arms, shine the heart forwards. And then exhale as you round, drop the head. Inhale, open again, cactus. Exhale as you round. And then coming all the way back to neutral here, left hand comes down, right arm sweeps up and over to the side. Pivot the chest all the way towards the sky. So we're opening the chest a little bit upwards and we don't wanna be collapsing onto this supporting arm. We really wanna be using the side body to hold us here. And then floating yourself, literally dancing your way through that space to the other side. So it's right arm down, left arm up to the sky again. Pivot the chest, gazing upwards. And then you're gonna dance between the two. You'll inhale over to the side, exhale through center. Inhale over to the side, exhale through center. Two more times going each way. Find the rhythm with your breath. Make it intentional, keep it mindful. And then when you're done with your two, come all the way through neutral and then roll on over to all fours. Just take a moment to pad through the wrists here. So maybe taking the backs of the hands down, having a little move forwards and backwards, just checking in with those wrists. How are they feeling today? Maybe palms coming down, fingertips facing the knees, side to side. And then just finding yourself into a neutral position in all fours. Take an inhale, lift the chest, shine the heart forwards. And then exhale, finding cat as you round the spine, let the head drop down. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we round. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we round. The more we work with this one breath, one action, this fluid motion, the more we start to find a sense of peace and rhythm and a soothing ease in the body and the soul. It doesn't need to be powerful. It can be really slow and soft. You're gonna come back to neutral. You're gonna lift the right leg, take it behind you and then bend the right knee in and make circles here with this right knee. So you're working into the right hip. Now your core is naturally going to have to engage here as are your glutes. Take the circles going the other direction. And your body's probably gonna to wanna to lean over to the left. Now it can allow a little bit of lean, but try where possible to keep yourself square as you can to the ground. 
and then lowering that right knee down, take a moment, reset, and then we go to the other side, left leg comes up, we bend it in, and we create our circles here. And about four going in each direction. Again, just being mindful of all of the weight wanting to shift over to that right side. And then come to sit back onto the knees. Take the knees wide. And then walk the hands forwards. Really pad them forwards. Like feel into the earth. This is the earth that you walk upon. This is the earth that supports you. And you are supported, coming down to a wide leg child's pose. Checking in with how that feels to know that you are supported, to know that you are safe and that you are grounded. All of these nerves and this anxious energy firing its way around your body. Knowing that that energy, that emotion doesn't need to dictate the way that you live your life, the way that you control what you do next. It can still be there. You can get intimate with it, you can honor it, but it does not have to rule what you do. You have the power to choose. Start to lift the bottom, bring the knees parallel just underneath the hips. Reach the hands forwards, find Anahatasana, melting heart pose. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. So you'll see here that I'm not collapsing down into my armpits. My ribs are drawing in. I've got this nice long line all the way through my tailbone, all the way down to my fingertips. Now, as you exhale, allow the armpits to open and the chest to open, but without collapsing. You are still in control here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt it down. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt it down. Peel yourself all the way back to a high kneeling position. Tuck under the toes and then just come to sit back on the heels for a little toe stretch. This is one of those kind of challenging places that is really, really good for the mindset, really good for that mental knowing that you are stronger than you think. This is not a stretch that we do that often, especially in a life where we are using our feet every single day. So pretty quickly, we're like, oh, that's tingling. Oh, I want to come out of it. Just allow yourself time here to breathe and to feel into that slight little bit of it being uncomfortable, but knowing that it is nourishing the underside of your feet in a really good way. And if you need to, you can take your fingertips down for a little bit of support. That is absolutely fine taking a modification. If your fingertips aren't down, roll the shoulders back. Close down your eyes and just breathe here for a moment. Two more breaths. And then slowly edging your way all the way out. Hands come down near the top of the mat. You can just have a little moment to pat those feet down and then make your way into your downward facing dog. So have a little bit of time here in your downward facing dog. What would you like to explore here? How does it feel just to pedal out through the feet? Maybe a shake, a nod of the head. Maybe even a little bit of movement into the shoulders. You can lift a leg, place it down, just having a few moments of moving with your intuition. Doesn't need to look pretty, doesn't even need to look like a yoga shape, just needs to feel like something your body is asking for. And then walking your hands, all your feet, sorry, all the way up to your hands, feet hip width apart, take an inhale, lengthen, lift the chest, exhale as you fold. And then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale those hands, bringing them down by heart center. And then down by your side, just heel toe the feet together. Take an inhale, lift and lengthen. Half sun salutations, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, create space. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. 
And then exhale those hands down through heart center, release them one more time. Inhale, take the arms up, feel the dance with the breath, exhale as you fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Release them down by your side. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, create space. Exhale, step back. Find plank position or modify it straight down onto the knees. Breathe here, take an inhale. Exhale, lowering down to the knees or coming down through chaturanga as you lower the whole way down to the earth. Release the feet apart slightly. Fingertips out in front of you. Drop the head. We undulate here through cobra. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Place the hands down, tuck under the toes. Make your way back to a downward facing dog. Now sweep the right leg up into the sky. Bend that knee and take those circles again through the hip. If it is too much in downward facing dog, come back to do it on your knees. Going in both directions. Keep breathing. And then that right leg is going to step through between the hands. Reach the arm up, arms up, high lunge. And then exhale, open it out, warrior two. Let's float and fly with this warrior two here. We inhale, straighten the legs, arms reach up, gaze high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, open. Inhale up, exhale open, beautiful. Flip the right wrist, reach forwards, and then take your reverse warrior here. So left hand floats back down onto that back leg, gazing towards that right hand up above you. Keeping the gaze high as you lengthen through the whole body, but stay deep into that right side leg. Open it back out with the arms, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Reach forwards with the right arm, Trikonasana. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Mm, breathing here into that soft and graceful power that you know that you have. And then gaze down, slowly close down both hands, either side of the right foot. And then you're gonna pick up the right foot Take it to the outside of the left hand, pivot onto the, in, well, onto the back, flat of the back foot and then lift the left arm for our fallen triangle. Reaching that left arm up by the ear. If you're feeling for a little challenge, you can try and lift that right leg. You can lift it maybe for five pulses. But if not, just be here in the strength of this stretch. And then unraveling yourself. And then just step it straight back to a downward facing dog. Again, just having a moment padding through the feet. Maybe a shake, a nod of the head. What is it that your body needs right now? And then we sweep that left leg all the way up and we take the circles. Remember, you can modify down onto the knees here. Four circles going in each direction. Keep breathing. And then we're gonna step that left foot all the way through between the hands, reach the arms high up to the sky, high lunge. And then exhale it, open out warrior two. So get low into that left leg in your warrior two. And we fly that warrior three times. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower, flip that left wrist, reach it back. Reverse warrior, gazing up to the sky. Don't let that left leg either straighten or dip inwards. Still wanna be externally rotating from that left hip. Coming back through warrior two, 
Inhale, lengthen that left leg, reach forwards, 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 and then exhale, Trikonasana. You can have a block down here for your Trikonasana, of course. Gazing up to the sky. And then closing that right hand down, framing the left foot. And then you're going to pick the left foot up, take it to the outside of the right hand, pivot onto the sole of that back foot, and then the right arm lifts up. And you get this amazing stretch all the way down the side body. One more breath here, of course, if you want to play around with a little challenge lift of that left leg, be my guest. And release. Remember, this is all about soothing nerves. We're not pushing for power here. Step it back. Find that downward facing dog. Take an inhale, wave the body through to high plank. Drop the knees down and then lower yourself all the way down to the earth. Fingertips come out in front again, elbows up, head down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale and lower. Beautiful. Place the hands down, tuck under the toes. Take it all the way back to the downward facing dog. Now, right knee comes in and we take the right knee all the way to the right wrist. Drop it down, find pigeon. So with your pigeon, this is a really great one when we're feeling a little bit anxious, but it may, to begin with, start to make you feel even like a step worse. It's all about breathing into the surrender, which we'll talk through in a moment. So prop yourself up with anything that you need. If that's a block underneath the bottom, maybe a cushion underneath, maybe a bolster in front of you to lay upon. Now you're going to inhale and lengthen and then walk the hands forwards to wherever you get, doesn't matter. And at this point here, we say to ourselves, I surrender and I accept. Now we hold, every single human holds, so much emotion in the pelvic space. So a shape like this can be triggering, it can be activating, but what that's going to do is if a release of emotion, if some kind of catharsis comes, that is what you need right now. So trusting the process. Because then when that release has come and you've let it out, that's when you find the ease of the nerves. That's when you find that sense of peace again. But trusting the journey. It's not linear. It's up. It's down. It ebbs and it flows. Another five breaths here. And then lifting all the way up. Beautiful. Just place the hands down, tuck under the back toes, lift the back knee, step it back, downward facing dog. And just take any movement that you might need here. And when you're ready, we'll move into our left side. So left knee comes to the left wrist. And again, just finding any props that you're going to need to help you here. We find an inhale, lengthen through the chest. And then an exhale as we fold again. That little affirmation, I accept, I surrender. Knowing that you have the power to move through this life with grace, with ease and with kindness. You get to decide. And whatever it is in your life that is bringing you these nerves and these, this anxious energy, you absolutely have the strength and the courage to get through that. 
And sometimes that anxious and nervous energy isn't even around something that you might deem as bad. Sometimes it's something amazing that, or something exciting that makes you feel nervous. Still knowing that you are strong enough and courageous enough to step into it, to embrace it and enjoy it. Three more breaths here. walk the hands all the way up this time rather than going back to a downward facing dog you're going to roll onto the outside edge of that left hip and bring the back knee around in front of you place the feet down and then just take the hands onto the knees here take an inhale and really pull the chest forwards and then exhale as you round and allow the spine to lower a bit inhale bring it up and forwards again and then this time, exhale, rolling it all the way down to the earth. Just take the arms beside you and just window wipe those knees side to side. And you're going to take the arms out into cactus or into T-shape, depending on what you have space for. And you're going to drop the knees over to the left side, head goes over to the right for our supine twist. Now, dependent on how you're feeling, you could intensify this by taking the left foot and place it on top of the right knee. And you can always take your twist the other way as well, entirely up to you, see what feels better. And then just as you're breathing here, feeling that big, beautiful breath opening into the right side body, all the way down into the glutes, into the IT band. Maybe just taking a releasing breath here as well. Inhale. And letting it go. And then coming back over through center. And we take it over to the other side. So knees over to the right. Head goes over to the left. Taking any variation with those legs that you wish. And again, we release and surrender to the breath. Inhale. And let it go. And then bringing yourself back through center, hugging the knees into the chest, taking a little rock side to side, just soothing the soul here through this little action of the rock. And just taking a moment to find stillness. You can be hugging those knees in still if that feels good. Or you can just allow them to softly and gently rest upon your chest, on your belly, keeping the eyes closed. And this for a moment right here, right now, is the moment that you remind yourself that you are stronger, more courageous, more beautiful than you think. And when you leave the mat today, that you have the power to do anything. And you do it with a softness, a gracefulness, and a sense of ease. Slowly rocking yourself up to seated, keeping those eyes closed. And when you arrive in that seated position, just taking the hands back down onto the thighs, onto the knees, palms facing down, roll the shoulders back. Crown of the head reaching, reaches tall. ground down into the beautiful knowing and acceptance that you are you, unique and enough. Maybe just say to yourself, this is me. 
and say it to yourself with a smile. This is me. We'll seal our practice with a releasing breath here together, taking an inhale and letting it go. Welcoming you back into you, the beautiful and very much enough you. Namaste. Mm. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hopefully you are feeling a little calmer, but a calmness that is built from a foundation of strength and love. That is what I wish for you when you walk off of your mat today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you're not already a Soul Sanctuary member, please do come and join. It would mean the world to me. We have an app, we have desktop, you can search everything. We have yoga philosophy, we have flows, we have power, we have inversions, we have meditation, we have breath, kind of got everything. And it is a really, really a magical place to be. So yeah, the link is down below in the description. You get seven days of a free trial. It is pretty, pretty cheap. It is such a good deal. All of that, it's just $14.99 a month. Or if you sign up for a year in advance, it works out as being only $11.66 per month. So I would say a very, very good deal. So hopefully you come join us and I look forward to flowing with you again very soon. Bye-bye.